Fellow Spartans, how you doing and welcome back to another episode of the Sassanid Empire campaign on Total War Attila. So, we continue, but before we get things going today, I just wanted to say quite quickly, obviously, since I'm recording this part today, uh, there has been the announcement of the release date for Warhammer. So, it's the 28th of April, 2016. So, I just wanted to just confirm with you and I'll be doing this across all my campaigns that I'm doing at the moment on the channel, uh, basically the situation with them. So we're going to be basically achieving at least a minor victory with all of them. Uh, because, you know, obviously when we're not doing this YouTube lark full time, it means that obviously I'm not recording regular content or regular episodes as much as I like to. Um, so that means obviously it's sporadic, I'm not getting through them as quickly as I want to. Um, you know, obviously I've got other videos I need to release, big announcements that are made, I have to cover them as well. So, you know, obviously my time is um, sort of spread between all that sort of stuff. But we will get there, and obviously we will get there before Warhammer is released. So, at least for the campaigns I'm doing at the moment, I want to achieve minor victories with all of them. I'll then probably look to carry one on, um, or a couple, maybe just one, um, from the Attila campaigns after that. And you know, just try and then achieve maybe a bit, a bit more of a greater victory with that campaign that you choose. I'll ask you guys to vote for which one you want to carry on. It'll probably be the Western Roman Empire campaign, knowing you guys. But uh, you know, you've got the chance to do, you know, and vote for that. Um, you know, when that situation arises. So I want to confirm that with you. But as I say, I will be covering and saying this on all my campaigns over the next few days. I'm going to get back on track with a lot of them. Uh, this week so you'll be you know expect to see a lot of these episodes coming out over the course of the next few days so there we go ladies and gentlemen I just wanted to confirm that with you because obviously when Warhammer comes out next year I'm going to have to cover that it's going to be big it's you know something I'm, you know it's essential to my channel I'm going to have to um, release footage on that and I'll be doing two campaigns on that and I will ensure at that point that I do especially earlier on that I do release content very, very frequently on those campaigns because, of course, the um, the hype, the the uh, interest will be very high, especially early on. So, yeah, that's what I want to just confirm with you before we kick things off today. And um, we are pretty close to a minor victory of this campaign. In fact, we've only got to survive until the following date, four two five, which is definitely most likely now, considering our expansion with this empire. And everything else has got a little tick next to it. So, oh, no, apart from that, we've got to get another couple of puppet states under our control. And then that's it. We have achieved the minor victory with the Sassanid Empire. Um, so, obviously, that would then start this campaign for um, at that point. And, obviously, then if you vote for it to continue later on down the line, then, obviously, I'll re-establish it at that point. But all the other campaigns have got to get to that position as well before I do so. I mean, the Western Roman Empire campaign could be the one that takes the longest to get to a minor victory because obviously, considering the scale of everything involved with that campaign, it will probably take a lot longer to achieve, probably. But, as I say, we'll assess all that as we carry on. But enough of that, let's carry on with this campaign while we are here now and um, see what we can do in this part. So we are, we are at war with these guys, the Gepids. Now they have got, I think, one settlement remaining over uh, over there. Uh, is, it, is, it, is, it, is it just one? No, oh, it's three settlements they've got. They've got quite a lot of... Uh, oh, they've got a quite large, land, large um, control of land over here. So they've got three regions that they hold. This is one of them, probably their capital, Solana. Um, so I'm thinking what would be the best thing to do... Yeah, we'll, we'll probably go for that city first with the Golden Company. Let them replenish first before we do that, though. Take that region there, then establish ourselves a little bit closer to their other regions, and then push on. But we want to become isolated with the the, the actual faction leader's army. We want, to, we want to have that army supported with another one, which I'll probably bring up the faction heir from Corinthus over, over there upwards to support him as we push on that way further uh, westward but the eastern roman empire falling very quickly they should be down and out in a matter of uh, you know a few more turns probably the 
Himyars over here. We've only got one region left to take of theirs and then they should be gone. Uh, is it one left we've got here? One more region. But we won't destroy them. We'll make them a client state as well. Another one ticked off then. And that would mean there's one left before we hit that objective in the minor victory conditions. So we'll definitely make these guys a client state as well. And we'll push on them hopefully today. I'm bringing my fleet down here to this city just to dock there. Uh, these guys are recruiting three more Armenian Spears. Can we go for another one? No, it would take two turns. We'll do the three for the moment. These guys, 16 out of 20 men in that army. Um, this is a walled settlement, is it? Yes, it is. We shall probably hire another mercenary Onager before we attack them. A couple of desert legionary defectors, probably. And maybe another unit of cavalry. But we'll do that next turn obviously we can't move them this turn in terms of public order everywhere is looking pretty stable there's a few areas which aren't so good but that's going to be the great press will give us a plus seven public order next turn so that shouldn't be a problem going forward these arabia felix I, yeah tensions are high around here at the moment obviously because of the war with the him yards hopefully that will settle down once we've taken or uh, made made zavar uh, or the Himyar, I should say, make them our client state. Hopefully that will then ease things around this area. Asia, um, yeah, we need to be mindful of these guys. It's minus one at the moment, but public order should start to level out over there in a second. The Dardania, we need to convert them to our culture. So we shall, what's the situation in terms of fertility over here? Not bad, base fertility four. We could make use of this land then and um, convert it to something that's going to thrive off the land. That will probably be 210, 210, 118. It's going to be this one, isn't it? What, that one, sorry. Horse breeder, 210 from the fertility level. That's the wealth. In terms of food, 18 plus 6, 15 plus 5. Oh, oh, oh. That's probably the, the best one, is it? Then the wheat fields will give us the best off the land. Yeah, I'm going to probably go for that one then to start with. Go for canals. Yeah, let's get some sanitation. Probably call that up with that. We can't convert that yet, but we'll do that next term. Our money income per turn is fine. Just need to make sure our food surplus is... Uh, is maintained. Obviously, I know it's minus four at the moment, but it's not too bad. Get it going up though. It's winter, so hopefully spring and autumn and summer will allow the food production to go back up again. I should hope. But sorry about the longer introduction. I need you to tell you guys where we are. Um, I mean, I may do a separate video letting everyone know my situation with my campaigns. Because I, I've always said this... And I always will say this, you know, this channel is all about really campaigns. Campaigns on Attila and other Total War games. And that won't change. But I have been doing a lot of single videos recently. And a, lot, a few of my subscribers have been asking me where are my campaigns. And obviously they always come back. Um, but it's... I think it, what it is is because I'm, you know, I'm trying to cover everything that Total War released. Which is understandable. I need to do that and it's good for you guys. It, you benefit from it as well. But at the same time, I need to make sure I'm not biting off too much that I can chew, basically, or too much, you know, too much that I can't afford to keep up with. Um, so that's why, you know, with Warhammer, I'm going to do the two campaigns, and that, I think that's manageable. I'll balance that with another campaign and another Total War game as well at the same time when Warhammer releases. So I'll get you guys to vote on that, obviously, next year. So you know, the things to look forward to, and definitely. You know, I will make, make sure that uh, Warhammer is in full flow on the channel next year. You know, so uh, lots to look forward to. But I want to get these done. I feel like I owe you at least a minor victory with most of my campaigns because it is important. So, right, Mr. Spy, what have you done? You haven't done much, I hope. I think it's a failure, so that's good. So let's bring you forward a little bit. The integrity of the army is not great. So the full stack army there. The arch is suffering from um, attrition. 
So that is good. That is good. We could attack them this turn and we will have the ability to attack them straight off the bat with the fact that uh, we have got the Onigas already in our army. So I'm going to go for it. I can't really waste, waste more time. It's a shame we can't get this fleet around to attack as well. Before we do that though, let's make, make sure everything's okay in the north. Food's gone back up, which is excellent. Oh, the Western Roman Empire being attacked in the southern part of Italy there. The uh, Ostrogoths uh, are attacking them. Establishing the Ostrogothic Empire, possibly, um, as it was in history. So, let's convert that to a village. We need to do it. It is essential. These are still converting at the moment. They are getting there, though. Convert that. No, we can't. So we're going to have to... Ah, oh, this is giving us a bit of a benefit of plus four. We'll leave it for the moment, then. Statue Carve is giving us squalor and public order minus, but it does produce marble and production um, in general. Uh, it's good construction there. But is it worth it? I don't think so at the moment. Let's convert the main build. We can't even do that. Ah, okay. We need to rebuild our city first. I'll come back to that in a second then. Let's begin our preparations to move over to Solana. So they're on the border there. Ah, oh, see that? Look at that public order drop massively. What's causing immigrants? Immigrants! Oh my god. What an issue. Instability minus 7. So, I don't actually know how to deal with immigrants. So, if you guys know in the comments how to deal with immigration issues on this, uh, on, on Attila in general, in fact, let me know. I mean, it, 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 do I have to have a, a rebellion to then cleanse the, the population in some way? You know, I don't know. Um, let me know. But for the moment, we could have a rebellion in, in the north and we're going to have to deal with it. Accordingly. All right. Okay, that would sort out the issue with public order. So it would take six turns. Though we may have to get rid of that. I think. What's that giving us? Wealth. Don't we need it? Wealth is something we're okay with. So we can dismantle that because it is affecting the public order minus two. We'll, we'll make. It, we'll build something else there in a second. That's fine. That is fine. Let me make sure everything else is okay before we do. Fight this battle down with the Himyars in a second, uh, just to make sure everything is sort of on track. Dardania, yeah, what well, we know about Dardania. Thracia, yes, the rebuilding of Constantinopolis. It will, it will come to pass very soon. Three turns left before the city is uh, rebuilt, and then we can hopefully make it like it once was, once great as it was. Um, all those. Well, not years ago. It wasn't that long ago, but it's it needs to. If we can try and get it to be at least a little bit of its former self, then we're we're part way there to re-establishing re-establishing its glory, and that's the main thing. And hopefully, by the end of the campaign, we will have it um, looking pretty magnificent again. So that's that. But we shall now march into the Himyar's land. So we'll go for that unit of Onigas, and we'll go for three, two defectors. And a unit of um, light melee calf. We'll go for them. Better than very light melee calf. So. We take this settlement for you, my lord. Right, just hang in there. Be continue the siege. It's gonna be. It's gonna be oh, tricky. Let's see if we can bolster this army with some more. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to. This is. A, this is gonna be a big battle. Okay, go into their lands for a second. Can we try and avoid any attrition on the desert? Mm, no. We're going to unfortunately suffer a little bit. We have done not so much. Though. Not massively, though, I should say. So, desert spears. We'll hire a couple of them. May as well go for some bowmen. And that's it. Okay, I've spent quite a bit of money there, but it's required just to make sure this uh, battle is won. Are you in the area of influence to now assist in this battle? You are indeed. Oh, it's going to be a big clash this one, guys. 
None will escape. None will escape. Right. For Persia. Okay. Oh god, this is going to be pretty hard actually. Let them cower before our might. But we'll do it. Let's be confident. It's going to be a mighty clash. The Battle of Safar, 406 AD. Assassin Empire begin their march on the children of the sun. The Himyars will fall. And they were once a great nation, will now bow down and become a client state of the Sassanids. What am I talking about? I'm trying to make it epic. It didn't really come across like that. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, let's let's crack let's crack on guys. They haven't got too many. They've got in fact, quite a few slingers. Quite a lot of many cav actually. Spears aren't too good. They've got a unit of uh, defectors as well. Legionary defectors. The city isn't too big. Yeah, nice and dry conditions. Thank you. So let's have a quick look at the situation here. So we've got this gate here. Two towers. We can take them down. Let's gate there. Hmm, quite a few gates and towers there that probably be the worst part to go into. To be honest, where we've actually set our army up at is probably the best way in. Take these two towers down, take the gate down, and then smash another wall. I'm not sorry, smash another hole in the wall there, maybe. Then we will be into the city quite easily, I should hope. So we'll do that. And then obviously our reinforcements are coming in from that side, so we'll get them to sweep around here. We won't get them going in another way. It's too risky. We'll go from this part here. So pull these cav back. Group one, thank you. So this formation as you were! Spears go in, because obviously I need the spears definitely because they will be the anti-cav which we've seen or established that they've got quite a lot of so we need to make sure those spears are ready to fight bring the onigas out there start the battle right guys, we're keeping on normal round right, go for the towers before we do anything else. One of them was taken down first. Oh, hey up. Oh my god. Let's pull these back a second. Don't think you'd be so close. You've got Bastion Onigas, have you, on that, that wall there. Got a couple of shots off already to the fort towers. Oh god, that's lucky. That was out of range. Here's a little one for you. Bonus point if you know the quote. We're well out of range, Dad. If you know that quote, then uh, let me know in the comments. And you'll get a, a big, big house point. Oh, God. Please, God. Don't. Don't lose my crew here. Because that will be the last thing we want to have. No sodding artillery left. Are you still in range? Are you going to fire in a second? You are still loading up to fire. So it looks like you're going to fire again. Oh, God. Did you hit me, hit me then? How, how big is your range here? Oh, is it, oh, my God. Is it this one here? Oh, is it? It's huge. The range is massive. Right. Pull everyone back. Oh, God's sake. This is annoying. Right, come on, guys. For God's sake, come on. Let's get out of this range here. Where is the curve again? It's here. Just getting out of the range now. Hopefully that's it now. This old curve here. 
That was rather annoying, wasn't it? We've lost one Onager unit. Right, okay, we should be okay now. So, disestablish themselves again. These. Oh, we've brought some units out. Oh, no, they're not. They're coming across to enter the city. So, what we need them to do is go down here. Take your time, though. Try and stay out of range of the towers. While we do the work over here. Right, we still got the range though to get back at them, so let's get, concentrate the fire on those towers. They've got a lot on the walls here. A lot. They need to run out of ammunition as well, which is fantastic. Right, 16%, 24%. That's good. Come on, guys. Then we'll go for the, the door, the gatehouse. And then we'll go for a couple of gaps if we've got enough left in the walls. And that's take it, you see. Oh, yes, we're taking some men out there. Good shots, good shots, gentlemen. All right, let's fast forward. I want to see these crumble soon. Come on. 56%, 40%. If I see they're not going to go down soon, I'm going to have to... Oh no, it looks like the shots are a little bit off here. We need to get a hole in the gatehouse first. So we'll have to go for the gatehouse now, just conscious of ammunition. And then if we get any ammo left, then we can go for these towers. I'm not too concerned about the Onager here, because they say they've really you know, nearly run out of ammunition. So Let's forward it once again. Oh, what the hell? What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? Oh god, they're back in range again. I'll just go for it. Oh, one tower's gone. Tower is no more than now. Awesome. And they've run out of ammo now. This is our last shot. I think that's our last shot. Please be a dodgy shot. Oh yes, it was. That's them done, isn't it? Yeah, they've finished now. They've got no more ammo left. So 80% gate damage. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Gates 100% damage. Right, go for this fort tower now. And then at least we can say we've taken out the gatehouse, we've taken the two towers down then. And then that will give us a huge advantage at that point. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 80% damage, we should be able to take this down. Not with shots like that, that was way off. Oh, brilliant. Awesome. Right, use your last shots on the walls. Go for flaming round, give them a barrage. Just to finish off the job, hopefully. Right, now we can start to push a little bit further forward. We've only got a unit of slingers on the wall there. Apart from that, it's all... Mali cav, or say Mali infantry. Oh yes, got a few of them burning there. Good. Oh no, there's a unit of uh, desert bowmen there as well. Okay. Let's begin to advance. Get the spears ready as well. How are we doing over here? We're getting there. Make sure you stay out stay, stay out of range of all these towers. We need you to make sure you do that. So I'm um, in terms of you know, we've got quite a lot of men here. A lot more men than they have. We've already killed nearly 300 of them, which is great. Got to do, got, we've got to do this bit by bit. We can't rush this. Gotta make sure we are steadily getting there and using everything we've got against them so precision shot go for flaming shot as well okay 
And in fact, what we will do is we'll set the bloody city alight to restart to um, drop their morale. Right, one unit go for the actual archers around there and one go for the city itself. Right, volleys are starting to fire now from the archers. Some of these stray shots will probably go onto the city as well. So it's good, it's good, it's good. Oh look, all the men died there from that tower has been destroyed. Awesome. I've missed doing these campaigns actually, so it's good that they're back now. I've missed them. I've missed them a lot. Come on, let's get some shots. Don't think they're doing the job actually. We may put them back to normal rounds. What have we got here? Poor armor piercing and damage. If heavy heavy armor then heavy so heavy um, shots if we can. Oh Bastionigas have retreated back. Come on, surely we're getting some shots off onto the city, aren't we? All we need to do is just set one building alight. That will really start to uh Drop them or I'll have to do that, so come on. So what they got did they get? They got spears, they got some desert tribesmen, they've got skirmisher cav and desert bowmen there, but we don't know what's further into the city. They could have a lot more hiding back here, especially around the city centre. So we can't really go in lightly. We've got to make sure we are treading carefully. We're gonna have to pick up the pace with those guys now. They are gonna be tired, but uh we need them to get across soon. Okay, they're starting to route, unfortunately, but it was going to happen. Oh, but there's a tree on fire now. Come on. I want this city burnt to the ground. With me only taking it and then making them a client state, they'll have to do the rebuilding of the city, not me. I'm not interested. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Oh, there's a little bit of... No, it's just a sodding tree. I want to get this city alive. I probably should have used a couple of Onager shots. That would have done the trick, maybe, but... Uh, too late now. No, anyway, it's okay. If he's continuing to do what I need him to do, just, just pick away at these, these units here on the walls. So we've got here desert defectors, excellent armor, excellent armor piece and damage, good armor. So these are going to be the front men that go in, sort of try and push into the city, the meat of the army. And then we'll have to get some spears around in a second as well. But once we've then got into the city itself and we've you know, got all our army in, we can then bring the cavalry in to start flanking around the streets and, and uh, hopefully cause a lot of damage to the flanks of the uh, defending forces hopefully but come on guys let's get across now it's just a shame they've had to enter a different angle of the if you're behind me in the battle map if he sort of entered here it'd be great we could start off straight away but I need to get him over before we, we enter the city really That's it. Just continue to do what you're doing. You're dropping the numbers a little by little, so I'm I'm still happy that's happening. Look at that, yeah, going down now. One of our units has used all its ammunition. They're starting to waver as well. Bring these guys back just in case we need them later on. I know you'll be absolutely exhausted probably now. Yeah, you are exhausted, but it's one of those things. It's one of those things. OK, 
Okay, well, at least these have got some ammo. We can use them in a second. Pull these two back. Why have they got no ammo? Oh, no. Because I'm selecting the wrong sodding units, that's why. <laughs> I was going to say, why have they got no ammo? But they have. You've got still some left, so we'll bring you back in for a second. We will start the attack in a minute, guys. I promise you that. Again, these are mercenaries, so they can, you know, die in the field for all I care. They've run out of ammo now. So they pull them back. Because they aren't mercenaries, you want to keep them alive. Right, we're soon there now. We'll soon be going in in a minute. Right, so spears, spears, spears. We've got quite a lot of spears actually now. Right, group them all to three. We still want the swords to go in first. We'll get the mercenary defectors to go in to start things off, supported by the uh, Sugdian warriors. So let's go, go, go. Here we go, chaps. The movement into the city begins. Bring the cow forward. Have we got enough men for this one? They still got their walls to protect them for the moment. Our aim is true. So keep peppering them, keep peppering them. So in come the defectors first. This unit of cav there, Desert Raiders, we should be able to take them down. Our heavy melee infantry should do the job. Spears, you need to start moving in now as well. Oh, right, we've got quite a lot of men here. But they are a lot of them. Spears, right, we've already engaged them. Bloody hell, I didn't realise it was going to be this. So close to the fire. I thought they'd be, so they'd be in hiding there all along. I thought there'd be more in this city than I, th I you know, I realised. Right. Spears, prepare yourselves, you're going to be going in and in, guys. Actually, just sit back a little bit because there is a lot of uh, skirmishes around here which we don't want to uh, be in range of if we can avoid it. Right, so let's have a quick look here. Have got any ability we can initiate? We can initiate Frenzy. But I think you guys are at the back there, aren't you? Yeah, you're at the back. And it will give you a bit of frenzy. It will also give you a bit of fatigue. A lot of calf there, a lot of calf. What we've got... The fact is, they've got spears here as well. And if we can get them to mix with our melee infantry, we should be able to break them down quite quickly, I should hope. Um, we've got a unit of mounted bowmen. Let's take them in, actually. Take them into the fray. They've not got many men left. So we may as well use them. A unit has used all available ammunition. Come on, let's start getting their numbers down. Right. There's a lot of cav that they're pushing in with. Let's just pull in our cav now. About. Heavy spears. Are these heavy spears? They are, right. Bring them in. 
bring them back a little bit. Just I want to get them in to, to those cab units there. They've got so many that they're, they're bringing into the, into the fray. Okay, these guys are doing a good job, but I don't think they're really doing enough of a job that, that the cab could, sorry, that the spears could do against them. But we are pushing in with the Sogdians and the Desert Raiders. We are starting to really big, look at this big push into the city, actually look at it. Step by step we're getting in there. I'm going to initiate friends with these guys because they are actually engaging with the enemy now. Come on, push in, push in. Make that step into the city. More Desert Levy are coming in. What's he got that's of any abilities? He's got steady, steady. Reconnaissance, well, st reconnaissance is pretty useless. Oh, melee defense or shield defense. Yeah, that could be quite handy. Come in, Mr. General. Hopefully you won't be in range of any fire. Who are these guys? Oh, another unit defect has come across. Forgot about you. Sneaky gits. Trying to uh, avoid the fight, were you? Come on, this is a great push. How are we doing on numbers now? Come on, come on, that's it. The enemy are dropping a bit more than we are. We'll give the general a little bit of a job here with the steady ability. If he starts taking a lot of fire, we'll pull him back. Yes, that's what I mean. Is that just giving up? Is it, oh, is it, is it only giving... Right, it's actually only giving this unit the um, ability. I thought it gives like an area of influence, or you can initiate it on a single unit. But no, it's only on our unit. So we'll bring the cav. So we we'll bring the general back. Okay, he's giving it a bit of morale boost, but I think we, we don't want to risk him. Right, Sugdians again. No, it's the defectors still. This is phenomenal. This is a great push into the city. This is one of the most epic battles we've had on this campaign so far. So, it's pretty awesome to see this first hand. And you've got to give it credit to the Himyars. They are trying to hold on for everything they've got. And do you blame them? You know, this is their last settlement they've got. They will want to try everything they've got. Also, give everything they've got. To try and hold on to this land before it is taken from them. They will try to stop that at all costs and as I say I do not blame him for that but hopefully our numbers will uh, win the day here 3361 3360 so it's just little by little it's going to be a case of a, in a second where a crack will appear in the army's defense in their defense and suddenly everything will just split and mass panic will hopefully kick in but for the moment they are holding strong and the numbers are decreasing slowly as well as ours but we still got a we still got the advantage Sogdians are in again push in come on get in there got the house shaking the ground push these defects in as well Dear Lord, look at this. I mean, these spears should go soon, these Desert Levy. I mean, that's the thing. When a few of these units start to rout, then the panic will hit in. Look at these defectors pushing in now. They're even pushing past the Sogdians. Wonderful. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. But they're going to fire on their own men. Oh, it's like... It's like... Uh, What's it in it? Edward Longshanks. Well, yes, well, we'll hit theirs. Oh, my God. I think you've actually, yeah, they've hit their own men again there. It's hilarious. Let's send them in. The mercenaries, these guys. Send them in. They've used all their ammunition. I hate this graphics glitch that seems to appear on the tiller, where if you zoom in with a lot of units on the screen in one go, it seems to flash all the shadows. I don't know why. Oh, I don't know. Oh, look at you, it's your own Oh, you vittles then. Sog Dean, get in there. Uh... 
<laughs> oh, oh god. They are definitely in their own men at the same time. They won't have much ammunition left. They've only got half left. Let's follow these trails in. Oh, another shot on their own men. Awesome. What's the numbers like now? Oh, God. Yeah, they're dropping sort of the same rate as ours at the moment. God. We need to just tolerate a few more of these shots and hopefully then they will not run out of ammunition. Come on. Spears, prepare yourself, move in. General, I think I need you back in to help me with the morale here. Okay, you need to start to route there. Unit of uh, Desert Raiders, I think. Yeah, they've gone. Come on. Keep yourselves together. You've lost a lot of men there from these Honiger shots. God, seriously though, have you got any more left? You've got a few more shots left in the ammo. They've thrown everything, they've committed everything to the gate here. So, I don't think we've got much left in the city. Once we've got through this main group of men here, this should be everything. Everything that's left for them. Is the area of influence coming? It is a little bit. See that blue circle? It's sort of cutting a little bit, going to bring a bit further close, I think then they'll get, yeah, now they're in range, now they're giving everyone a morale boost. Okay, keep a close eye on that number though, let's make sure it doesn't drop. Right, I think we need to bring in a, oh god, he's firing now, they flipping finish soon. One more round, they've gone, surely that's it now. Trying to go for a general, don't blame him. Jesus Christ. Go in, get yourselves in there, man. Who the hell do you think they are, these defectors? Don't defect on me. Right, yeah, they're facing out the crew are now <laughs> coming across to engage. Right, well, that should be fine now. We've survived us the wrath of those uh, those onigers. They did cause a lot of damage. They could have turned it for a little bit, but I think we've still got enough to hold on here. Sugdians, are you ready to initiate frenzy again in a minute? You are. Uh, the legionary defectors have come back. Push in, push in. Wow, oh, this is intense stuff, guys. Intense to last. We've lost a thousand. They've lost nearly fifteen hundred. Nearly. It's always going to be brutal, this sort of uh, battle is. It's always going to cost a lot of men. But thank God a lot of these men are mercenaries. <laughs> I keep saying it, but it is important. Right, we've got some razors here. I want to I want to get us some sort of charge in if we can. It won't probably, it probably won't do anything, but just to really get the momentum, if they can just push into the city. Let's push our men forward at the same time, gather a big charge in from the field and get that momentum to come in. And maybe push our men in further and get the horses through the men, that is though. Come on, go, go, go. A few units are routed. Oh, come on. 
Oh god, what are they bringing across now? Some more bloody cav. Spears, get yourself ready. You're going to be used in a sec. Jesus <laughs> This is insane. Absolutely insane. Stand strong, stand strong. Who've who have broken now? The cab, then the cab is still okay. The defect is a Lost quite a lot of men. God, we're dropping men like wildfire. What's going on? Come on. Oh my God, what is going on here? It's turning a little bit towards them again if he's not careful. Get the general back because they are starting to take fire from the uh, archers over there, so let's pull them back. Oh, wonderful! Come on, do not give up now, look! General's on his... his general's on his deathbed. He's been slain in the field, we need to go now, come on. God's sake, come on man. So we mean the assassin is the the quality of the troops is pretty poor. Dear God. Just watching this counter very quickly here. Good. I dare not take them out because if I take them out, then um, they'll just completely route because I'm being point. I pulled them back, so I need to just bring them in, bring the spears in. Fresh units coming into the battle now. Hopefully, these will uh, get some. Uh, Flipping heck, this is ridiculous. I can't believe how strong the Himyars are holding here. Come on, big push now, big push. Initiate Frenzy again. Back to get in there, everyone get back in. Back into the fray. Or the general bag, we don't want him to die. Spears engaging, if they get spears engaging to these cavalry units here, we should be okay. And the count is going up still in terms of our favour. Bring in another cavalry unit. Go in. See if you can get in there. Just to really finish these off, they are starting to waver. Can't get to the man. That's the problem. If you rally, you know what to do. Get back in there. I'm going to flip him, bring in the Onigo crew in a minute. Oh, 
Right, okay. Spears, I need you in there now, guys. Come on. Right, they're starting to wave it. Wave it. That's what we need, the panic to kick in. That's all we need. That's all we need. And then we can get the cavalry in to really start to sweep up these remaining skirmish units then. Set spears. It's the only way we can get into this city. It's just crazy how we've just had to launch everything into this gate here. The amount of dead men would be incredible. Okay, spears are yes, you are coming up against these camels. It's going to be a Pyrrhic victory this one is today, I tell you, Pyrrhic is definitely the, uh, <laughs> the one with this. So what's the situation here? Don't withdraw! God's sake, not now. So we've just got about 800 more men left. Oh my god. Wow. But we are getting into the city a little bit bit more now. Bit by bit we're getting in here. This is the main thing. We're starting to make progress. Who are these guys coming in? The Cav, the Cav are in. The Desert Skirmishers, is it? No. The, yeah, the Persian nobles, they're into the city. Initiate second wind. No. Initiate second wind. Steady. Right, what have we got left to bring in? We've only got the really cavalry we could bring in now, but we don't want to bring them yet. The men are going to have to sit, sit tight for the moment. A lot of yellow, sassy colour here. A lot of purple and yellow. A big chunk of our men here. A press space bar. Yeah, a lot of yellow into this segment there. God, what's the situation now? We've broken. The, no, we haven't broken the the 900 yet. We've still got above thousand left. But they're dropping to below a thousand very soon. Get in, back in. I will not accept cowards in his army. Come on. We've broken the 900 mark. Right. The cavalry is starting to waver. This could be the turning point where they do start to panic a lot here. And we could start to make the difference. Sugdi and Warriors still fighting in here. Where are those guys? Get yourselves back in, man. 12 left, 13 left. God. I've never seen anything quite like this, ladies and gentlemen. This has been uh, one hell of an epic battle. I wish I could have played a bit more tactfully, but I couldn't really. I couldn't even say the word then. Because, you know, I've only got this one opening to get into the city with, and that's how I pour everything in. It's just ridiculous. Pour everything I've got. Oh, no. Good. We have control of the gatehouse. That is a big plus now. Right, we're starting to make headway now. We've got this cavalry on the right hand side which are wavering. If we just try and push in now, we can get our open a gap for our cavalry to come in. I'm gonna fast forward a little bit more here actually because we could be here for a long time if we don't. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. Where's your men rallied again? Oh, 
but in desert defectors left we have these guys are coming back in apart from that they've all gone all lying face down here in the, in the gate opening look dead blooded everything right come on Spears finish these camels off Brilliant stuff. Epic, epic stuff, in fact. You can't take away the ep epicness of this. Even the axe units are going down here. There's the far sentinels. Okay, come on. Very heavy axe infantry as well, these guys. If we can take them down. That's an awesome, awesome achievement there at that point. Big push now needed. Big push. Back, men, back. The unit is running from the enemy. I'm sick of you telling me this. I'm sick of these cowards defecting me. All this just to make them my client state. All this bloodshed, all this death. For what reason? For them to become a client state of ours, to become a puppet state of the Sassanid Empire. It's crazy, isn't it? It's crazy, it's madness but it is needed. Come on. As long as you hold spears, we're okay. Come on, Armenians, get this camel warriors down. Get these guys down, right, okay. Persian nobles are coming in now. Maybe the time is right to bring in the heavy cav. Right, unit of cataphracts are going in. Go for this unit of uh, desert herders, actually, just try and pull you through. Come on. Right, we are starting to really make progress in the balance of power now. Here come the heavy cataphracts. The heavy shot cavalry coming. Pushing, that's it. Push, push, push. That's it, that's it. That's it, go, 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 go. Get onto those slitters, hurlers. What? Our general's fallen, how? Oh, it wasn't this general, it was our other general, was it? That's okay, I'm not as concerned about that guy. Oh, that was our cataphract unit, was it? Oh, bloody hell, I didn't realise that. Well, it's okay, at least we've got one general that stole that. I didn't realise that was all the, all the general, never mind. At least he's made a difference. He's pushed in and made all these units routes. So go, go, go. Finish these other units off. You've made a sacrifice for the greater good. That's what I'm going to say here. Daffy, you've done that. And we've now finally, finally pushed down into the gatehouse. We've got the city now. Let's bring in the other two units of Cav. Our men return to the fight. Right, finish the job. That's it, that's what I want to be told. They should go down quite quickly. Come on, lads. Come on, kind of fast, get in there as well. Right, the, the city is really ours now. They've only got the unit of Cav left. And that is the Desert Chiefs and the General, in fact. So, our job is not finished yet. We still have work to do. Push in spears. Let's finish the uh, finish what we came to do. Yes, well done men, the men who've survived have done a very worthy job today. I say, when, it, when, it, when that message came up saying we lost our general, I was like, what? But we have, I forgot we had the two of them. We had the two of them. Our men run from the enemy. 
This is shameful. It is indeed. Do not tell me that. I don't want, do not want to know that awful news. Okay, Desert Bowman, 30 down, 38 down. Or 38 left at that point, I should say. But now they've got a lot less. 17, come on, break, 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 break. Right, Spears. You've got one left, one job left to do. And that's to take down the general. The Desert Chieftain must fall. But we need to take down the barricade first. Don't go the long way around. Everyone go for this gate. In fact, you guys go the long way. See if you can get around the side here. Who? Stop breaking off, you cowards. The victory is in our grasp here. What are you talking about? Do you not... Don't leave now. This moment of glory. Right, they're hacking away at the barricade. The cataphract have a coming across now to take out the desert chieftain they should actually be able to do this on their own actually we, won't need, we probably won't need the spears running, oh, for god's sake these cowards but before we do anything else let's quickly let's survey the scene here it's that bad the frame rate's dropping when i zoom in oh my god look at the amount of men look at all those sugdean warriors all the purple there all the horses Oh, it's a, it's a scene of pure devastation. Boy, it was a victorious battle, or skirmish at that point in the battle. We did claim it in the end. A very big cost, though. Okay, we've engaged the Desert Chieftain. He's already wavering. He realises all his men have been killed. He's the only unit left. Surely he's, he's facing defeat. And nothing can stop us now. Come on. I've got to pull you back out to where you go for the charge. I know you're shot, Cav, so you may have to do that. That's it. Dropping down now. And there we go. <laughs> oh! I thought I was never going to end. Perfect victory. I did call that one earlier on. We did lose a lot of men. 1934 so it's 1747 remain but we did take out eventually most of their men 164 men of theirs remain but the far is now ours wow that was an hour long episode guys what a way to return this campaign with a glorious battle there but it's only to subjugate them that's all it is. Another one to tick off the list. Duty calls for another general. Who shall replace the man in question? He's got terrible traits. We don't want him. Scholar. Search rate. Integrity. Probably integrity. We need integrity at the moment. At your command. Right. First things first. Disband these mercenaries. Goodbye. We fight for you, my lord. You do, but you mercenaries have done your job. Go back as free men. Okay, so now they are our client state. Now that gives us another puppet state under our control. So only one more to go. We'll probably get that in uh, in this area in Europe that's probably where we'll establish another client state who it will be who knows but it will be definitely someone so Himya are now ours which is awesome and we've got an increase in our general's ability zeal army recruitment capacity no 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 campaign movement, campaign movement range and we'll go for melee defense why not we've got some household here as well why am I not doing that why am I not using these guys? A lot of stuff here. You know, keep cost. Yeah, good for that. Right, ladies and gentlemen. Whoa, okay, dear, dear, dear. I'll leave you with that uh, almighty ending to the battle there to, uh, as I say, end the episode with as well. So I hope you've enjoyed this part today. If you have, you know what to do. Drop a like. And I shall be back with some more Sassid Empire campaign very soon. We are we are close to victory. We are close to a minor victory here. So let's continue that. Let's 
let's get that under our, our belt and then we can um, see where we where that this campaign takes us after that you maybe that will we'll continue it later on after we've achieved the minor victory maybe that we'll finish it there either way it's been a pretty pretty good campaign so far so uh, there you go ladies and gentlemen but until next time this is warrior spotter for now saying farewell